Dr. Greg Emerson from Cedar Springs Farm in Queensland, Australia. And I was watching an interview with the great Anderson Silva the other day, the, who was uh, coaching another UFC fighter. And he said to the fighter that everything he had was a weapon, but he could only use it with strength and significance if his mind was okay. And it's exactly the same in the areas that I work, in emergency medicine and health and in wilderness survival. And the literature is very clear that the people who survive emergencies, the people who get over illnesses, are the people who have got the mind right. And in, 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 in health we've found that it's not the water that we drink that's most important, it's not the food that we eat, it's not that we can gather food for ourselves, great shot with a bow and arrow, it's the fact that we don't panic and that we know how to use our brain and we have the right thoughts in our head. And in wilderness medicine we have a mnemonic we use, which is STOPPER, which is stop, think, orientate, and by orientate we, we are talking about let's have a look at what resources we have available to us, plan how do we use those resources most appropriately, and A for take action. In emergency medicine it's very easy, we, we practice it constantly, we practice airway, breathing, circulation, ad nauseum, just like a pilot practices the basics of flying constantly so in an emergency medicine, medicine's emergency situation the plane they they have it inside their emotional bookmarks exactly what to do well how does that apply to health or how does that apply to recovery from an illness well it's the same thing we don't want to panic we want to think about what resources we've got and use them appropriately. And we now know that the brain has two main areas. The brain has a neocortex, a new brain if you like, and the brain has an amygdala. And the amygdala is our emergency brain. That's what happens when you get a fright and you jump out of the chair before you've even been able to assess what the threat is. And the, the, when we get a diagnosis of an illness, we can sometimes panic and take the wrong action and the best thing again there is to use the brain not panic think for a while orientate what resources i've got available to me and then take act so it doesn't matter if you're in an emergency situation and you're in wilderness survival you're recovering from an illness or you're trying to stay healthy we all do the same things we stop we think we orientate we plan and then we take action it's dr greg emerson saying thanks for listening see you next time